Iran's unprecedented attack in response to a suspected Israeli strike on the Iranian consulate in Damascus, Syria, has now triggered new uncertainty and confrontation in the Middle East. It has marked a new chapter in a discord between the states, which has already been seeing escalated tensions since Israel declared war on Hamas last October. Iran launched a barrage of more than 100 medium-range ballistic missiles, more than 30 land attack cruise missiles and more than 150 attack drones at Israel. This attack on Israel marks the culmination of tense two weeks in which Washington has engaged in a whirlwind effort to prepare for expected violence. For the recent action, Israel used its multi-layered defense shield to foil Iran's attack. In fact, Israel's multi-layered air defenses and its close cooperation with Western allies kept the impact to a minimum. Now, according to reports, the limited impact was due to two factors. First, the resilience and efficiency of Israel's advanced multi-layered air defenses, which include the anti-ballistic arrow system and the iron dome system. And the second, close cooperation between Israel and its Western allies, the United States, Britain and France. Let's just tell you a little bit more about Israel's arrow system. Israel had used a multi-layered defense shield to block Iran's mass drone and missile attack on Israeli territory overnight. Its defense array includes short-range Iron Dome and long-range Arrow 2 and Arrow 3 missiles. The long-range Arrow 2 and Arrow 3 system, which was developed by Israel with an Iranian missile threat in mind, is designed to intercept ballistic missiles outside the Earth's atmosphere using a detachable warhead that collides with the target. It operates at an altitude that allows for the safe dispersal of any non-conventional warheads. Now, what's the Israeli Iron Dome system all about? Well, the short-range Iron Dome air defense system was built to intercept the kind of rockets that's fired by the Palestinian Islamist movement Hamas in Gaza. Developed by state-owned Rafale Advanced Defense System with the United States backing, it became operational in the year 2011. Each truck-towed unit fires radar-guided missiles to blow up short-range threats like rockets, mortars and drones in mid-air. Rafael says it delivered two Iron Dome batteries to the United States Army in 2020. Ukraine, in fact, is now seeking a supply as well in its war with Russia, though Israel has so far only provided Kiev with humanitarian support and civil defenses. A naval version of the Iron Dome to protect ships and sea-based assets was deployed in the year 2017. The system quickly determines whether a rocket is on course to hit a populated area and if not, the rocket is ignored and allowed to land harmlessly. Let's tell you about Israel's laser-based system. Israel's interception systems cost between tens of thousands and millions of dollars to shoot down incoming threats. Israel is also developing a laser-based system to neutralize enemy rockets and drones at an estimated cost of $2 per interception. But apart from Israel's state-of-the-art multi-layered air defense systems, Israel's extraordinary relations with the Western nation and thanks to an international coordinated effort, Israel was able to thwart Iran's latest attack, intercepting almost all of the missiles. Senior US officials detailed the role Washington played, both militarily and diplomatically, in countering the attack. Oh, well, that's, no, that, that's, not, that's not hyperbole, man. Both these, both these squadrons. You're incredible, absolutely incredible. You made an enormous difference, potentially saving a lot of lives and thanks to extraordinary skill. According to a U.S. military officials, two American warships, the USS Ali Burke and the USS Kani, destroyed between four and six ballistic missiles, while the United States aircraft shot down more than 70 Iranian drones. A Patriot missile battery also shot down a ballistic missile that was headed towards Israel in the area of the northern Iraq city of Arbil. 
Just ahead of the attack, US officials, including Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin and Secretary of State Antony Blinken, were in constant, ongoing, continuous contact with the Israelis, as well as with other countries in the Middle East to avoid escalation. While the United States is urging restraint, working to prevent an escalation across the Middle East by not participating in any offensive action against Iran, the big question is what happens next? All eyes are now on whether Israel chooses to take further military action, while Washington seeks diplomatic measures instead to ease regional tensions.